I'm just gonna be voicing this. Uh, the manga does not belong to me, and if you wish to not hear me voicing it, then yeah. Um, the manga is called Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, if you want to read it, so yeah. Here we go. Let's get married. What? Are you serious? Whoa, I'm so happy. Yay! Kobayashi-san, we should get married too. Kobayashi-san! There she goes. We're already married, so don't you think it's time to move on to the next step? Huh? She's acting like we're already married. And what does she mean by next step? You know that we aren't married, right? There you go again, Kobayashi-san. Lying out of embarrassment. Come on, stop it already. No, I mean we really aren't. But we are! Ugh. I'm the expert of the struggle of house chores and we live together. What does that make me? Does that make me your wife? Your maid. Though maids aren't supposed to struggle, I guess. Then how about you marry me now? I'm going to sleep. So tonight will be our wedding. Right, night, right? I'm going to sleep alone. You will never find a dragon better than me, Kobayashi-san. If you keep idolizing an impossible ideal, you will end up like... Hi, girl, Molly on marriage. I have nothing to do with that kind of stuff. Don't say that. It's the kind of thing that you can only figure out yourself. How about you, Takuya-kun? I'm more focused on hobbies, so I haven't thought about it at all. And I have friends that I can share my hobbies with, so I'm good. And your parents never bother you about finding a good wife. They sure do. The other day they came to discuss that exact topic. And what did you do then? I had Fafkun pretend to be a girl. Eh? <laughs> I had Fafkun pretend to be a girl. If your parents go home quickly, we will have more time to play games, right? I'll tell them your son is a girl with him now, so you don't have to worry anymore or something. Oh, so you found someone to marry then? That's not funny, Kobayashi-san. Their appearance shouldn't matter at all. You should only be with someone you like to be around. I wish delicious meals were part of my everyday life. So you want to marry food? That's not a bad idea either. I would conceive a meal's children and then have more meals. You want to eat your husband and children? That's insanity, you know. In any case, choosing someone to spend your life with is a very serious issue. You have to think it hard. It's like picking tonight's menu for dinner. Toru said it will be burgers. I'm having curry. Don't think about your dinner. Now I'm going to be reading chapter 105. It's terrible. Fix it. You mean the gameplay? No, that's okay. It's the story that annoys me. What's up with this cozy story and it's happy family that defies the treasure equally when they get home plot. It's sickening. The writer has finished his job and got paid already. Also, it's a doujin so game, so I don't think we will change it. <sighs> Preposterous. Then I guess I'm done with it. I guess the time to part ways with you has finally come. Be sure to get back before dinner. <sighs> so, this story wasn't good, huh? I do think it lacks impact, though. I must look for a new place. A place with the same merits. I bought a new game. I got it mild, like you like it. Eh, don't get mad over it. <laughs> Be sure to get back before dinner, like a scrub. He probably said that after. <laughs> hmm? That guy. <sighs> the detective job is Went pretty well, so I saved plenty of money and I finally got my own place. Goodbye, tiny 4.5 out of me apartment. So cramped, I can't even have things. Hello? What do you want? <laughs> Aza, did you just say that you got a new place? How do you know my name? Wait, did you read my mind? What a coincidence, I'm actually looking for a place right now. And? No, wait, I don't want to hear it. You know what I want, even without me saying it out loud, right? I better not provoke him any further. Typical chaos dragon, 
always so selfish. Souls are divided in three parts, logos, dimos, and arrows. Dragons clearly lack logos. That's why they live through pure ID and no ego nor super ego. To put it simply, man, he's pretty scary. Well, it's pretty big, huh? I plan to turn it into a studio and draw magic circles and stuff, though it's quite dirty. How long is it going to take to clean it up? Am I supposed to clean it up? This is already more than tidy enough, isn't it? In the other world, sleeping in a tent was the most I could expect. And you used to dwell in a cave, didn't you? Hates cleaning. Hates cleaning. Anyway, is he really planning on living here? Just call a professional. No can do. I just bought this place, so I don't have money to spend on that. Hold up. <laughs> I can call it. Might as well make use of it. Georgie is at your service. Oh, sorry if it's bothering you. The thing is... Understood. So this will be my first job then. Yeah, please. I'll leave it in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> she wastes no time, huh? What? Are you gonna help her too? Well, don't you think it's sort of lame to make a girl do all the work? No need to worry. Then, uh, then I'll take care of this side. And I'll take this corner. Hmm. Don't kick it around. Move it. Well, we got it pretty tidy now. We don't have chairs. Time to hand you your payment, though it's not much as a pro with charge. I don't care. This was my first job as your assistant, after all. Oh, crap. Huh, I guess I couldn't avoid that. There is still a lot of stuff in this world that I'm not used to. Ugh. Hey. Oh, yeah, you can just relax and feel at home. I need this room to do some paperwork and other stuff for my job, though. Are you gonna work here as well, Daphne Rufus-san? No. Eh? I had already made Butler a for Tsuriyu and Asada-san. And Takuya-san, too. Hey! Butler outfit? What for? I'm not wearing that! <laughs> huh? Daphne or son left. When did he leave? Well, I hope he's gone home. I guess I can't handle that kind of mood after all. The mood of people getting along with each other. I know that there are some who can grow stronger with that. I wonder if he's one of those. <laughs> How foolish. Overthinking this stuff will make take toll on my body. Oh, welcome home. We found a solution, Fakun. Depending on the player's score, you get different endings. And we made a route where you take the treasure and all the family members end up killing each other. The story was written by Mr. Curse over there. Good grief. What an unlikely man. Before any of that, the MC's room is filthy. Tidy it up. Eh? You care about that? <laughs> Oh,